Welcome to Fact Club 24 7. My name is Johnny Rashman. Right, let's get straight into it. Alexander Yusek retains his unified world heavyweight titles after stopping Daniel Dubar last night in Poland. Right, before we get into the controversy of the low blow, or was it a low blow? Let's talk about the fight. It played out how I expected it to. I said pre fight that Dubois will give him a few issues. Right. There's a lot of disrespect on Daniel Dubois' name pre-fight. A lot of people saying it will last a round, two rounds, three rounds. You have to understand Dubois is a formidable man. Right, He's a strong heavyweight. He can bang with both hands. You are not going in the ring with him and having an easy night. You're just not. Right, So he did give Yusek problems. However, I did want him to use the weight more. He just didn't hold him once. I don't understand that. Now, I know Yusek's a moving target and he's a southpaw and he's tricky, but hold him, breathe on him, lean on him, let him feel the body, tire him out, right? He never held him once. It seems to me that Tyson Fury is the only person that has the brain to hold people, smaller men. Tyson Fury will literally grab hold of you. He, he won't even throw a punch. He will w run to you and grab you. Tire you, lean on you, then he'll do his business, right? I just don't understand why you wouldn't do that. I don't understand. He should have imposed his will more, right? The first few rounds, he was, he was, he did start off slow. Dubois, you said beautiful jab, stunning. That jab is just sensational. The Southpaw jab, it's just absolutely sensational. But Dubois did warm into the fight. He was doing very well with the counters. You know, they obviously worked on that, him and Don Charles. You could see he was blocking and he'll come back with the counter. He wasn't going to the body till four or five rounds. He should have gone to the body earlier. But as the fight went on, he, he was doing okay, Dubois. He can be proud of himself. But let's talk about the low blow. Right? So it was round five. Dubois hits him with a shot. You set goes down. Now... It's hard to discuss it when you've not seen all the angles. Now, in the cold light of day, I have seen the angles, right? There's one angle where it looks legal, looks like a, a legitimate body shot. There's another angle where it does look below the belt. Now, I did say that it did look like a legal blow and Dubois should be a world champion. But in the cold light of day, when I look at it now, it was a low blow. It was. Listen, take away bias and where he's from, Dubois. I'm British and, yes, we all support our own people, especially when the boxing. But it was a low blow. Come on. Come on. If it happened to Dubois, he would say it was a low blow. You can see it grazed. You can see the knuckle from a certain angle is grazing his balls, you know, or whatever you want, his midsection, right? You can see that it's a low blow. Now, there's a lot of people coming out saying you said cheated, and a lot of these people are Tyson Fury fans, and it's just bizarre. It's, you know, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that Usek's a cheater. He's an absolute shining example of what you want as a world champion. He doesn't cheat. He doesn't lie. He doesn't manipulate. He doesn't con people. He takes on all challenges. He doesn't say he's a fighter man and then and then ducks the hardest challenges possible or cherry picks. He takes on all comers. This guy is an example of how you want how you want your champion to be. Not lying and cheating and manipulating and taking 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 for their own financial gain. He's an example of what a champion should be. He's not a cheat. He's not a cheater. Right, so I won't have it. I won't hear that. He went down. Yes, of course he's going to take his time. He was visibly hurt by it. You can tell it took him a few minutes to recover when he got up. Every fight it does a Bernard Hopkins, my God. Every fight he'd go down. You'd hit him on the jaw, he'd go down and say it was a body shot. He knew every, he knew all the tricks of the trade, right? So of course he's gonna milk it, isn't it? Of course he is. He wants the time to recover. He's been hit. Right? Yes, it, it might have hit some of the stomach, but it's hit the midsection as well. It's a low blow. It's a low blow. That's the end of it. It's a low blow. Now, Pete, a lot of people, as I say, they say it's, it was legal shot, it was a body shot, and it wasn't, right? And you've got to factor in that if it was a body shot, he would have got up. Of course he would have got up. He stayed down because he knew he could, right? He, anyone, any fighter would do that. So the idea that Daniel DeBoss stopped him with a body shot, it's nonsense, nonsense, right? And yes, I did say it on my social media, right? But in the cold light of day, I've seen one specific angle. And you can see it as clear as day. It's a low blow. 
It's very borderline. It's very close to being a body shot, but you could see it's low. And any every fighter in any weight division would claim that was a low blow, right? It's as simple as that. So I'm not hearing that you sexy cheat or no, that is a low blow. The elephant in the room, let's talk about it, is Dubois got to stop with a job. <laughs> you know, again, <laughs> you got to stop with a job, you know. And I know he got tired. And I did say pre-fight, as the rounds go on, if he doesn't get him out of there, he'll get overwhelmed and eventually he'll get stopped, right? And that's what happened. And you said was was phenomenal again. I mean, I'm hearing this talk. Oh, Tyson Fury would beat him now, Tyson Fury. Don't talk about Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is fighting a fellow who's never boxed before, right? It's just nonsense. There's so many people who, who are worried about Tyson Fury's bank account. Do you think he cares about your bank account? Does he fuck? Do you think he cares about your bank account? I'm not interested what he's earning. Fight. Or vacate the bell and let's have champions fight each other. Let's Usyk become an undisputed champion because he deserves it. Why? Because he takes on all challenges. He doesn't lie. He doesn't cheat. He doesn't manipulate. He doesn't contradict himself. He takes on all challenges. Right? He's a shining example of what you want as a world champion. So this nonsense, that, that the slander of him, he's a cheat and all this. Listen, you won't meet a bigger Tyson Fury fan than me. If you've only started following me recently, you probably think I'm a hater because I've given my honest opinion, right? Don't tell me he wants to fight you, Sec, right? He is avoiding ducking however you want to package it up. I don't care how big he is, how talented he is, what he's won. I don't care who, if it's Tyson Fury or David Smith on the pub, if it was the same scenario, I would say he is ducking him. If he wasn't ducking him, guess what? He'd fight him. Nonsense, right? So don't tell me about Tyson Fury. If it's such an easy fight for him, go and fight him and become undisputed champion. He's fighting a guy who's never boxed before. So he's not even in the conversation. It's nonsense, right? I want to see you, Second Fury. Of course I do. Right? But this idea, oh, we should just forget about it now. Or Tyson will do him in now. You know, it's just utter nonsense. You get hurt in boxing fights. It happens. You can't look sensational for every second of every minute of every round, right? He's not a robot, you said. So he was hurt a few times. So what is going in against formidable heavyweights? Tyson Fury never been hurt in the boxing ring. He was on the verge of being stopped against Wilder in the first fight, second, and in the third one. You know, literally... It's a game of inches. And what you, what would you have called in them? A, a chinny or someone who goes down? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just nonsense, right? If you take on all challenges and you don't cherry pick, guess what? You will... Get, but you will be in trouble at some point. But Usyk overcomes it. What he does, every time he has a bad round or you think he's got a few sticky moments and he's hurt, he comes back the round after and just completely dominates his world class. However, when he did go down with the body shot, he was hurt. So a point wasn't taken. So really, I know, they, I know he didn't count as a knockdown, but in regards to how it affected him, he was hurt. So Dubois should have jumped on him. Should have jumped on him. He was going to the body a bit, but he let him off the hook. He should have grabbed hold of him, leaned on him, and bang, pushed him back, threw him back, and fucking worked, worked. Didn't do it, let the opportunity go. So you're going on about the body shot there. Now, I love Dubois, and he can be really proud of himself, really proud of Daniel Dubois, because he got a lot of stick pre-fight. He came and he looked confident. I said he had this youthful confidence coming in. He looked like a man who was confident. He wasn't overawed by the crowd. He didn't let the pressure get to him. He can be really proud of himself. But at the end of the day, we have to talk about the elephant in the room was he got stopped by a jab, didn't he? It was a jab. It was a good jab. Don't get me wrong, but come on. <laughs> you know, you... You know what I'm saying? He got hit with a jab. That that's the end of it. I don't want to see a rematch. It, I don't want it. I don't. I don't want Frank Warren. He want to deflect, deflect, and then Tyson can fight someone else and deflect from all of it. You can't deflect anything. Get him in the ring with you, sec. You can beat him. Fight him. Stop avoiding him. Simple as that. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed. It. I thought it was a good fight. It was. It was. It was fascinating. You know, because you know Dubois had that power, and you just thought. He lands, he could hurt him, right? And I enjoyed the fight, and I thought Yusuf was sensational again. He was, he was sensational. I mean, people talk about the body shot and all that, but come on, right? For literally, 
95% of the fight, it was unbelievable. The jabs, the going to the body, the combination punches, the way he's on the front foot as well. He don't just get on his bike and try not to box you. He'll come to your face and he'll put the pressure on you. Phenomenal fighter. Absolutely phenomenal fighter. But Daniel DeBar can be proud of himself. Right. I want to talk about the absolute nonsense we had as the chief support, which was Prince Nassim Hamed's son, Adam. And this is no disrespect to the kid, right? But I'm going to give my honest opinion. Prince Naz is a god. Of course he is. But who on earth made that decision to have him on as chief support for a unified world title fight? It's 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see that. 10 o'clock on a Saturday night, do me a favour, put him on at 6 o'clock, or put him on after the fight, you've done the kid absolutely no favours, have you not learned what happened with Campbell Hatton, Eddie Hearn cocked it up big time with Campbell Hatton earlier on, because he heard the name, he thought, oh he's got, he's got his father's name, we'll push him, we'll push him, we'll push him, the kid wasn't ready, Bless him, you know, he wasn't ready, Campbell. Now he's gone and doing his work, he's gone on smaller shows, that's how you do it. If you're coming from an amateur background, a good amateur background, and you've got your father's name, fair enough, fine. But if you've got little amateur experience, and this geezer, this Adam Hamed, he's not had an amateur fight, and you're putting him on against... I mean, the opponent, my word. I mean, come on. Look, I'm not going to slate it too much. It's his first fight. We know he's going to have a knockover job. I'd have beaten with my eyes closed, that opponent. Let's be honest. And that's me. Do you know what I mean? But you've just set him up now for a fail. Because now he's going to get vilified online. He's going to get hammered. The, the, you know, the geese are saying, we're going to take... We're not here to take part. We're here to take over. He's obviously previous rehearsed that. Come on. Come on. You're not Conor McGregor. You're not any type of prospect. You've got your dad's name fair enough. Right? But... You, you know, you can't you can't be putting the man as chief support in a knockover job. It was insanity. Who made that decision? Like, you've got to be batshit crazy. I mean, production, the promoter, who was it? I mean, and Prince Nash should know better. He should know better. It's not him. He's not in the limelight. Nigel Ben did it best. Right, he stayed away from Connor and he let Connor do what he needed to do. He didn't say, this is me. I'm involved. He wasn't doing every interview under the sun, right? He left him to his own devices, right? Now, I know different fathers work differently with their sons. Now, Chris Eubank Sr., he was full on with Chris Eubank uh, Jr. Now, people should say he should have left him. Maybe, but he gave him opportunities because of the name, you know? So you, you, you've got to take the good with the bad. And you, he will get opportunities with Prince Nas' name, with having uh, Nassim's name and... I get what they're trying to do, you know, trying to push him, and it's a son of a legend, but come on, I mean, are these guys just cowboys, what, I mean, I want to know the process of who signed that off, like, it's just batshit crazy, if Prince Nassim was saying, I want my son to be chief support of Frank Warren, surely someone with a brain cell would say, that ain't happening, come on, you know, you won't do the kid any favours, right, the, the kid's not any type of prospect. You can't label someone a prospect because of the name. You have to label it because of the skill. Yes, they'll have more eyeballs and all that, but in regards to skill, he's not any type of prospect. He's not done anything in the amateur game. He's not, you know, I'm looking at him. Yes, he's got a few moves and all that. I'm not looking at him thinking this is going to be a world champion. I'd be surprised if he won a British title. And that's fine, you know, that's fine. But the thought process, I think that, that it, it would have had to come from Prince Nassim Hamed. I think he's thought, you know, we love Naz, the showmanship and all that. You know, I think that's come from him. But Frank, why we not? Whoever has made that decision, surely you look at that and you say, we've seen what happened with Campbell Latin. We've seen what has happened before on social media. I mean, if these guys knew anything about social media, they would know that. No, if that was me, straight away, I don't care if he's Prince Nassim Hamed's son. I don't care who or whose son he is. I don't care about his name. For the kid's benefit, I'm saying that ain't happening. He's not going as chief support. Don't be ridiculous. I'll tell you why. Because he will get hammered online and he'll get that hammered. It will dent his confidence. That is not the right move for him. Put him on early on, right? Or put him on after the fight. Don't put him on as chief support. We're waiting for the fight. I want the fight to come on. And I've got to watch that. Just at 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. Just nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Now, people might not say it. 
as I say, you'll always follow me because I'll give my opinion. Anything I say online or in front of the camera, I will say to someone's face because I don't hate. I give opinions backed up with solid facts. You can agree or you can disagree. It's never any hate. I love Prince Nassim Hamad. He's a god. And I wish the kid all the best, Adam Hamad. I hope he does become a world champion. I hope he becomes the best fighter he can be. But don't be coming on chief support when you've you've got, you've done nothing in the game you and you've not got the skill level to match yet do your business earlier on because it ain't doing you any favors someone might have thought someone might have thought yeah we'll put him on and we'll boost him up but whoever's done that has clearly has no concept of social media and they've got that right up right put him on earlier on in the bill it, i just couldn't believe it was insanity insanity but i wish the kid all the best Right, let me know what you think. Was it a low blow? Was it a body shot? I think it was a low blow. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know.